All right, y'all. It's Friday. It's excuse me. I think I'll edit that out. Okay, it's uh, Saturday night, and uh, oh gosh, let me just pull down my drop screen here. Oh, I'll pull out my pocket watch. I forgot I had my pocket watch. Got tired of. There's my pocket watch and chain. Okay, y'all see what time it is. Eastern Standard Time. Anyway, got my flow jet in this morning. I didn't, wasn't it? It was supposed to be in here Tuesday. This is Saturday. Hey, yes. Win win. Yep, old eBay and uh, come United Postal Service. They're my favorite delivery people because it always comes early. If I get something FedEx or UPS, it's always here late. But, uh, yeah, I about got this thing wrapped up. Um, uh, I went to change my fuel line over. Already changed, uh, my air filter mount over. And that's about it. I gotta hook this rod up here. This little vibration rod or whatever, mount. And, uh, tighten those two screws. And the choke linkage is hooked up correctly. Which can be a little tricky, but, uh, learn how to do it over time. If y'all need to figure it out, go look up a tutorial on it. I just share what I'm doing. I'm not trying to do a how-to. I've done that in the past. I'm not as good at it as other people. I just share what I've been working on. Oh, got my machete strapped in with a um, cord there. But it got kind of wet. I hope it, yeah, I think it's carbon steel. So, yep, it got a little rusty. I have to oil it up and dry that sheath out. But, uh. Yeah, we're going to be storing this thing uh, out of the weather, so, yeah. But see how we, I want y'all to see this. I don't know if y'all can see it on camera. Uh, look real close. You might be able to see. That shaft is wobbly. That was part of my problem. The other problem is the needle seat wore out in this thing. So anyway, yeah, it's going to be... Yeah, I'm looking forward to cranking this thing up in just a few minutes. But, uh, more to come later. Uh, I'll load up a second video. I'm not going to try to tag them together. I'll get back into the editing process later. Uh, got me some internet back. I uh, was uploading on the phone and using the phone for my internet, but I, um, got internet back, so I'm good with that. And, uh, so anyway, more to come, y'all. Um, catch y'all in a little bit. And may God bless and catch you on the next video. And, uh, I'm going to give a quick, couple quick shout outs to some friends on YouTube. Shade Tree Fix It Man. BC Truck. Um, let's see. Darren Taylor. Uh, he used to do Southern Off-Road Mowers. Now he's doing country living, um, prepping stuff, and I'm kind of getting into that a little bit myself. Uh, let's see. Oh, gosh. Rusty Glove Box. Um, Tough Dog. Make some videos. Tough Dog's Place. Uh, you dizzy if you're out there? Uh, let's see. There's just too many to mention. Um, oh, not too fast for you. Not too fast for you now. He he's got a good channel. He's always reviewing stuff, and I like that fellow. Uh, latest thing I bought that he reviewed was uh, fractional calipers, dial calipers. Use them things all the time. I don't know how I did without them. But anyway, that's about it for this video. Let me put this thing back together, and I'll shoot another one when I get through. Y'all take care, and like I said, may God bless. We out of here.